U.S. aircraft manufacturer Boeing has announced the testing of its 7779 variant. On July 13, the company posted a video of the testing and wrote, The 7779 began certification flight testing at Boeing Field in Seattle. An important step as we work under the oversight of our regulator to get the airplane certified and deliver it to customers around the world. The Boeing 777X, the latest addition to the 777 family of long-range, wide-body, twin-engine jetliners, introduces several groundbreaking features. These include powerful new GE-9X engines, innovative composite wings with folding wingtips, and an expanded cabin offering greater width and seating capacity. The 777X also incorporates advanced technologies from its sibling, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. The larger variant, the 7779, stretches 9.4 feet longer than its predecessor, the 777-300ER, accommodating 426 passengers in a typical two-class layout and boasting an impressive range of 7,285 nautical miles. The 777-79 highlights include its state-of-the-art GE-9X engines, which deliver 6% better fuel efficiency than competitors, possibly refers to Airbus A350-1000, and a 10% improvement over the previous 777-300ER power plants. This translates to a 10% reduction in fuel consumption, emissions, and operating costs compared to rival aircraft. Passenger comfort is a top priority, with the 7779 featuring a cabin that's 16 inches wider than the competition, a lower cabin altitude of 6,000 feet to minimize discomfort on long flights, and significantly reduced noise levels, making it the quietest wide-body jet in its class. In terms of performance, the 7779's extended wingspan significantly enhances its lift-to-drag ratio, thereby boosting both range and efficiency. It can accommodate 34 more passengers than the 777-300ER in a typical configuration and has a maximum takeoff weight of 775,000 pounds. As of April 2024, Boeing has secured 481 orders for various 777X models from 12 identified customers and additional unnamed buyers. The 7779 completed its maiden flight in January 2020, and deliveries are expected to start in 2026. In terms of competition, some analysts believe Boeing may struggle to sell the 7779 due to competition from the Airbus A350-1000 and the potential for increased range and capacity of the Boeing 787 family. As for the Airbus A350-1000, no specific sales figures are known. The A350-1000 is mentioned as a competitor to the 779, with the A350-1000 offering slightly better fuel efficiency and lower operating costs on most routes. The A350-1000 seats up to 387 passengers in a typical two-class configuration, compared to 426 for the 777-9. Do you think Boeing 779 can beat Airbus A350-1000 in sales in the near future? We bring you some good information on aerospace. Please like and share the video and subscribe the channel.